Hi there, this is Nellie Joyce, and today I'm going to talk about Google reCAPTCHA. This is a way that you can authenticate users who want to join your site and make sure that uh, they're not spammers or robots and so on. So it helps, but not completely, but it does help. So let's get started with reCAPTCHA. You simply add it to your Google search, you write down reCAPTCHA, and you'll get a page. You log in. It's a developer's page. It's because it's part of Google. You need to uh, have a Gmail account. There you go. And next, you're going to go to the plus, which is right here to get a new site up. So I'm going to do that now. Click on the plus. And notice there are two types here. You're going to choose, notice here, reCAPTCHA v2. Why? Because you may have problems with the first one. So if you want to try reCAPTCHA v3, you may encounter problems. So it's up to you. So fill in the details for reCAPTCHA, as I said. Let's uh, do that. Before we do, we need to add a label. In other words, add our site. So the example here is the name of your site, IT4. The label is for you, and then don't forget to choose, in this case, reCAPTCHA 2, because we don't want to get into trouble. And then you've got a choice here. Notice I'm not a robot checkbox, invisible reCAPTCHA badge, or reCAPTCHA Android. I prefer the checkbox, I'm not a robot. I love that one. And then, of course, you add your domain or domains. You can use this on, use the same reCAPTCHA with multiple domains. So my domain is um, in integrating. So that's my domain. My email is there. And then you need to click on accept. And once you do that, you'll be able to submit. So basically, those are the steps. That's it. And then you have, uh, you can change this, of course, if you are going to look at mine, but you can copy it. Uh, that's the site key and that's the secret. Okay, so you can also go to settings and get your analytics up there. So now I'm going to go to my site. So let's do that now. So here's my site. I'm going to log in. So let's do that over here under login. Click on it. This is advisor theme on the site. It's a Moodle site. I'm going to go into my Google and that's how I'm going to log in. Okay, so there we go. So that's authentication. That's how uh, users create their accounts as well as log in. Of course, I'm in as the admin. Okay, so next I'm going as the admin. I'm going to go to the site administration. Okay, click on that, and I'm looking for authentication because that's what it is. Okay, so wait for that to happen. Authentication is under plugins, so go into plugins, click on that. There we go. Under plugins, we're looking for authentication. This is by alphabetical orders. We've got admin tools, plugins, and then authentication under AUTH. Then I'm going to go into Manage Authentication. Okay, click on that. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And um, under Notice here, uh, I've disabled self-registration. But that's OK. I can still get my uh, reCAPTCHA set up. So scroll down until you get to it a little more. And it's not here. So what do you do when it's not there? That's the question. So what you do is you scroll back up until you get to email-based registration, and then you're going to go into the settings. So let's open that up, go into settings, and then notice what it says here. By default, it's no. You're going to change that and turn it into a yes. So let's open it up, and there's the yes. Okay, now it's going to be enabled, and you'll be able to see it. Okay, so now it's enabled. Let's just make sure you save it or you're not going to see it. So it's important that you realize you need to save. So I'm going to click on save, then I'm going to go back. And just to help you go back, I'm going to go to the breadcrumbs, which are over here. 
and I'm going to go to authentication. That's where we came from. Under authentication, I'm going to, oops, that's not the right one. So um, let's go back to administration so we can get to the right place. So we're going to go to plugins, administration, but we're going to do it under site administration here. I hope this is, has not been confusing. To you, you need to go back, and this saves problems later on. So make sure that you're under site administration, and then go to plugins under here. Okay, and then scroll down until like, you get to authentication. You're going to go to manage authentication. Scroll down all the way down until you get to the reCAPTCHA. Notice now the reCAPTCHA is here. Okay, now it's available and open. And there is the site key as well as the secret. So we're going to go back here to copy. Okay, we're going to copy the site key. Go back here, paste the key, and then we're going to go back and copy the secret and go back here and paste it over here. And then please remember to save because just by doing it, you're not going to get it. So let me save it. Wait a few seconds. And now I'm all set with a reCAPTCHA. Now I haven't enabled, notice, um, self-registration. Okay, I haven't enabled that. But if, you, I mean, the only reason for a reCAPTCHA is if you enable it. Okay, so uh, notice here I'm going to enable it so you can see it. There's also another way of authentication, and that's by confirmation. Email-based self-registration by admin confirmation. And that's a plugin that you may wish to get. And then if you get it, it'll appear here in addition to the email-based registration. If you'd like to know more about that, feel free to ask, and I'll uh, show you how you can get that and add it to your authentication. So I'm going to change that. Uh, by the way, don't ever uh, delete this, ever. Okay, you can disable it but over here, but do not delete it. So let me turn it on so you can see how it works. I'm going to disable it and remember to save, of course, or it's not going to show. And then uh, let me log out and log back in, and you'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm going to log out. Wait a few seconds. Now I'm going to notice what it says here. Something new. You didn't see this before. Create new account. Now you can see it. This is on Edwiser, which is an amazing theme for your Moodle site. I'll click on that. So let's do that now. And then I get the form. Notice this is just something that the system remembered. It's not going to appear on yours, but your username may appear. So first of all, you need to fill in all the details. So you need to add a username, a password, your email twice, first name, last name. You don't have to add your city or town or country, but you do have to add everything else. And here is the reCAPTCHA. Okay, so you just click on this and you're ready to go. Okay, it'll confirm you. And then don't forget when you're finished to create your account. Another place where you can see your account, uh, let's go back to the main page. Okay, you can also find it right here, even if you go to the login page. And that's it. Hope um, it worked for you. If not, please let me know, and you'll have a chance to get help. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.